name is Io Janine Jackson and I live in Harlem, New York, and I'm a dancer choreographer. My mom, probably around age five, signed me up for ballet classes. I was a very active and precocious child. Because school was sometimes hard. I was very, I was a very smart um, student, but I didn't have the connection that I had with dance. I studied ballet. I didn't study anything else. Like I didn't study modern or jazz. That happened a little later. And then I went to North Carolina School of the Arts. And when I was there, the dean of the modern dance department asked if I wanted to audition. I was like, me? I'm a ballet dancer. I had no idea what the difference was. And it gave me this sense of freedom that I, I I can't really describe, but it was similar to what I had been getting in social dancing. But for me, really liking to take the best of both worlds, it made sense for me. It gave me the freedom that I needed with some a nice technical foundation. I dance six times a week, but that's because I love it. I not only get a good workout from it, 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 it gives me a natural high. Dance is not only a physical activity. With dance, you also get to incorporate the left and the right side of your mind. I said something very cheeky the other day. I said, I can teach anybody to dance. <laughs> and I believe that's true because what's important for newbies to dance is to remember that creativity and imagination are huge elements. Don't be ashamed of what your imagination can lead you to. Because like I said, if you imagine that you have a palette, you want to draw a picture of your mother, well just use the beat of the music and try to, ow, oh, she has a smile, yes. So you're just doing all these things. Spiritually, it's uplifting. So if you can feel that for like five minutes a day, how amazing. I remember I had a friend who said, I need to be picked up once a day. I need to feel weightless. Everybody should be able to benefit from, from, some, from exercising like this. I've realized that my mission as a dancer, as an artist, is just about creating peace in the world. And that comes from having serenity within myself. Right now, I practice Nishram Buddhism. And I was introduced to the practice nine years ago. Uh, so I chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, which means I am devoting and committing myself to the act of, of karma through sound vibration. And so when I say that, I'm able to basically clean the mirror of my life, look at myself. Because I was maintaining this practice, I was able to find there is a level, again, another foundation of happiness in my life. That's what's been happening over the past nine years. Slowly, every day, surrendering a little bit of myself. And there are other meditation practices that, if I have time, I'll incorporate that. For example, from Mind Valley, there's a six phase meditation where you basically start by saying, um, you're, appreciate, you're appreciative for these five things that happen, like coffee, a phone call from a friend, simple things that just help start your day. That, oh, you're starting to, I'm starting to envision my life on a whole new path. And if I do that on a daily, then that creates my life. And I stay, I stay pushing forward. My mantra is, I'm entitled to miracles. That's one short thing that I can say through the day when I start to feel like, when my mind starts to take over and it starts to, when I start to get the feeling like, oh, this doesn't feel good, even though it could be a wonderful thing. So I let it go and I tell myself I'm entitled to miracles. So I don't know how it's gonna show up. And I, it gives me a, a greater sense of trust. Um, I also have an extended mantra just for myself that I made up. So while I was on my bike this, while I was on my scooter this summer, I'd just be driving down the street. And I would say, um, I'm a divine infinite being living in abundance, surrounded by love and light, extending myself into health, wealth, unlimited self-esteem, miracles, and laughter.
yeah, I'd say it five times fast. I'm a divine infinite being living in abundance, surrounded by love and light, extending myself into health, wealth, unlimited self-esteem, miracles, and laughter. There are times and days, of course, I think we all have them when sometimes I'm not feeling like I'm doing enough or I'm not completing my mission. But just to know, to wake up every morning and to be thankful that I have this career, that blessing to have the freedom to fly. I feel like I have wings.